Welcome back to uh, session number five on our improving your back, lengthening, strengthening, getting some mobility back in that spine. Today we're starting on, we're starting standing. Uh, we're going to start with our breath, but what we want to do, uh, accentuate today, is the lengthening of the spine. We spend so much time sitting or driving or heaven forbid, texting, whatever the case may be, but we're rolling forward. And as our shoulders roll forward, we hunch the back, we put a lot of pressure on our lower back, and then the, the hammies and the, uh, the, the, the hips are another point, but we'll get to there. First of all, today, we're going to start with lengthening. So we're really going to lengthen the spine. And I'll show you a couple of different ways to do that, a couple of poses we can work through that will do exactly that, pull the shoulders back and lengthen through the back of the neck. But before we begin, we're going to come into our breath. We're going to start with our slow, diaphragmatic breath down to the belly. So we're going to take some big inhales through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Just notice here where the shoulders are rising and falling, or the belly. So place the right hand on the belly. Inhale. Swell the belly. Exhale, allow it to fall. So we're going to take that breath, take it all the way down to the bottom of the lungs. We're going to get so much more oxygen from it, so much more energy from it, but also so much length. Um, and and that will allow us to relax the muscles so we can lengthen. So keep three more. Keep breathing into the belly. Very calming deep breath. Your mother ever tell you? Deep Breathe deeply and count to ten. So it shows she was actually right, heaven forbid. Good. And now to, can, to begin, we're going to start off with our mountain pose. So ground down to the feet and really feel the feet pressing down into your mat. Even trying to lift the instep slightly. i got flat feet, but still trying to lift the inside of the feet, the inner thigh, if you will, and switch on and lift the kneecaps. To lift the kneecaps, Flick the toes back, flex the toes back towards you, lift the toes, and notice what happens to the quads, notice what happens to the thighs, they switch on, they, became, they become really active. And we can, if we can keep that same level of activity in the quads, lower the toes, but still switch on through the legs. Now have the, a neutral spine, so the spine is directly over the knees and the ankles. Belly tucks in, roll the shoulders back, Take the hands, point the palms forward, shoot them forward, and then squeeze the shoulder blades just gently and lengthen through the crown of the head. Lengthen the back of the neck, almost looking down your nose. This is our mountain pose. So this is a strong pose, but you know what? It doesn't look like we're doing a heck of a lot. Stay here for five minutes and then let me know how much you're doing. But guess what? Where's the breath? Here. Still here. Not this. Not the thoracic breath in the top of the lungs, diaphragmatic breath down in the bottom. Breathe deeply. So that belly swells and falls. Swells and falls. Good. We're going to move through to what's called a tree pose. Now with our tree pose, balancing pose, we want to keep that same lengthening. We want to keep that same reaching through the crown of the head. So we're going to ground down through my left. Keep that pressing down. We're going to take the hands to the hips and the right Heel is going to move to my left ankle. Pressing down to the left, but keep that back of the neck long. Now this may be enough, this may be alright. Lengthen the spine, reach the crown of your head towards the sky. Or you can lift the foot, come through to the calf, or come through to the thigh. and ground down through the foot, really press down through the foot, press the foot into the, into the leg and the leg into the foot, and then maybe the hands come through to the chest, or you can take them high, press them overhead, just above the crown of the head. Now really take the elbows back, open the chest, open the shoulders, and lengthen through the spine. Find a spot in front of you that isn't moving. Lock it in with the eyes. Slow the breath. 
Bring the hands back down to the hips. We'll extend that right leg long, kicking through the heel, flex back at the toes. Tip the upper body forward just slightly, and then lower back down. Give that a little bit of a shake through the left. Really good strengthening the ankle as well, actually. We'll change sides. Ground down through the right. You can start with the heel to the ankle, move to the calf, move to the thigh, wherever works for you, and then find a hand position that works. Remember this bent knee, pointed up perpendicular, side of your mat, maybe here, you can even play around and maybe throw your same bolt in there as well, hey? Good. Reach the hands tall, whatever, whatever works for you, and ground down, and really press the foot into the hand, foot into the leg, pardon me, leg into the foot, and lengthen. So the straighter our, our back is, the straighter the back of our neck is, the taller we stand, the easier it is to balance. Good. Bring the hands back down to the hips. Extend and reach the left hip, heel forward, flexing back on the toes. And slowly release. Good. Give those legs a shake. So you feel the, the sensation of moving the shoulders back. You know, even in times of trouble, we want to protect our internal organs. We want to roll forward. We want to avoid that here. We want to open through the chest, shoulders back, lead with, lead with the sternum. Good. We're going to come down, come all the way down into our mat. We're going to take our left foot back. So leave our right hand down to the mat, left hand down to the mat, and find our low lunge. So our belly is slightly lifted up off our knee. Our back foot, even I can come to the side. This might make more sense. Toes in line with fingers. Stay up on the back seat. You know what, you can lower down to the knee if that works for you. But keep that left hip pressing forward and peel the shoulders back. From here, we're gonna use our breath. From here, we ground down into this right foot on the inhale, we come forward into our tree pose. And on the exhale, bring the hands back down to the mat and step back through your low lunge. Simple, yeah? Here we go. Inhale, press into the right. Stepping tall. Exhale, sink back down. Inhale. And just flow with the breath here. Exhale. We've got three more. Reaching tall with the fingers, but keep the shoulder blades attached to the upper back. Shoulders rolling back. One last. Good. Bring the hands down to the hips. Kick that left foot forward, kicking, woo, kicking through the heel. Level the hips, and slowly release. Nice. We do exactly the same opposite side. Give the legs a little bit of a shake. Can be a little bit strong through the hips, but once again, lengthen. Lengthen makes the balance so much easier. We come down, we we'll take our right foot back this time. Find your low lunge, right hip pressing forward, left hip moving back, chest lifting up off the front knee. On the inhale, step the foot forward, bring through to the calf, reaching tall. Exhale, sinking back down, into our low lunge. Inhale, press into the left. Woo. One side's always a little bit more challenging than the other. Exhale, sinking back. Three more here. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Really press through the foot, reaching tall. Last one. Good. Hands back through the hips. Extend and kick through that right heel. Flex back at the toes. And lower back down. Good. Shake the legs out. 
Move back through our mountain pose, ground through the feet, lift the toes, switch on the thighs, lifting the kneecaps, pelvis down, point it around directly to your mat. Reach through the spine, shoulders back, shoulder blades squeeze. Extend long through the crown of the head, breathe deep all the way down into the belly. Slowly release, hands through the center, well done today, a little bit of balancing, a whole lot of lengthening, we'll include that tomorrow, we're going to get still lengthen through the spine, and avoid this, open through the chest, shoulders back, lengthen, and once we lengthen the spine, we can improve, uh, we, can, we can improve basically the, the pain that goes in the lower back, there's no more hunching, there's no more rounding, but we have that length through the entire back of the neck, back of the back of the spine, the lower back, etc. So until I see you again, well done today. Check back tomorrow. We'll take what we did today and take it a little bit further until we see you then. Take care.